One of the most amazing places in the world, Florida Keys. <laughs> song called My Little Island. Goodbye, Jersey. Well, the Shanty Hounds is actually uh, a collaboration between two people. It's me, Danny Hoy, and Key West Chris. It was kind of funny because she had moved here and I'd give her a set to play on my gigs. We had a friend of ours who called us up and said, hey, I got a gig to play. You guys want to come? So I said, yeah, we went and we played. We, we had a good time. And he goes, well, we should start a band. And I said, well, I don't play any of Danny's music. And she doesn't play any of mine. And he goes, yeah, we should start a band. But yeah, we've been playing now for three and a half years and we're just having a great time. We just decided to either collaborate, play music together. The Shanty Hounds, it's a duo. Sometimes it's a trio, sometimes a band, but mostly it's just me and Chris. We came up with the name Shanty Hounds because Danny and I, we live in a little tiny house. We're in the Conk Republic, so uh, the music uh, that comes from here, we could call it Conk Rock. And so we started calling it the, the Conk Rock Shanty. And one day I was sitting at home and I was trying to think of a name for a band. And then we also have two dogs, which are a brother and sister. They're whippets. Whippets are sight hounds. And then Chris suggested we use the, because all the cool bands start with the. You know, the Grateful Dead, the Rolling Stones, the Shanty Hounds. Thank you, thank you. That's Danny High on what we call the Key Zoo. And two bananas and a tambourine. Bet you didn't think you'd hear one of those instruments tonight. We love playing our original music. And Boondocks offers us that possibility to play our, our own music. Some places over the years I've seen, they would say, oh, we don't want original music. But one of the things I love about Boondocks is they don't, they don't have that restriction on you. It's just play whatever you want. We get to introduce our songs and tell our stories, which is part of being a songwriter, is being able to explain to people in a fun way where the songs come from, how you got inspired. So that's even more exciting to us. It's great to have the experience of actually um, expressing our own songs and telling people where we're from and, and how we got to, to write these songs. The sound is also piped through the entire restaurant. So if you're up in the upper deck, which you're not in the area we are, you're still hearing us because we plug into their system, they hear it up there, and it, it's just a, Boondocks is just a great place to play. We love it. She's very versatile in her songwriting. Uh, I'd like to think I am too. And it, it, it keeps things interesting and keeps people's interest in, uh, in what we're doing. It works. Our performance at Boondocks was all original material, and the way Danny and I usually do it is she does a song, I'll do a song, and that's something that works out with both of us because it's, it's an evenly balanced thing. On, also, it's good for the audience because you have this woman with this phenomenal voice uh, singing, and she does her song, and then I'll do my song, which is gonna be a little bit different, well, significantly different than what she did. Not totally different, but significantly different. So it gives the audience a good uh, balance and it keeps their interest. Let's escape. I started performing and writing my own music to be able to perform for people who really like, uh, you know, escape is kind of music. So a lot of the songs I write are a lot about going to exotic destinations or going on a cruise or something like that. My musical influences are pretty varied. Uh, I'm not stuck on one particular thing. I've got a lot of influences from all around. It's not so much classical, but with the more popular idioms of rock and roll, blues, folk, country, good music is good music, and that's what I like. So a lot of the music when I started off playing music was more for uh, like parrot heads and fans of Jimmy Buffett because they like a, a wide variety of music. They like well-written songs. What I really love about particular types of music, especially pop music, is the hook of the music, the fact that it's melodic, it tells a story. And what I was doing was I was seeking to tell a story through song as a songwriter. Down again away. 
I, I got into uh, music in Miami 22 years ago. And at that time in Miami, there wasn't any real music scene there. When I first started coming here, oh, 25 years ago, I was always extremely impressed with the quality of musicians that were here in the lower keys. It's a very high bar that is set here. And for me, I think that's really good because it makes you want to achieve that bar. It's a very, very high quality musician uh, caliber that you have here in the, in the lower keys. So I have this motto, it's better late than never. Along about 2009, I started doing open mic nights and playing music with a friend. I mean, up until then, I, I just did, uh, I was a graphic designer, uh, I did some fine art. That was in 2009. Uh, fast forward 2012, I put out my first CD, which is called Trapagal. Playing music is my life. I get to do that several times a week, and it's, it's, it's a great thing. I'm so happy. Thank you, thank you, thank you.